Naka, smile. Eh. 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 Play knight f3. e4 knight g3, I guess. Maybe d3 here is playable. Castles as well. Let's play oh, I hung a pawn now. He's got bishop g3. He misses it. Let's play rookie one. Support the pawn. So it takes. It's still supported. Let's play c3 and d4 here. Okay, it goes f6. So I want to play e5. I guess I'll play d5 here. I think you'd a sly nice guy for the 100 bits. Win some, lose some. I'm not really annoyed by the loss. I'm just annoyed because there's no way I was ever going to win that against the 1300. Um, I can take... I guess I'll just play knight c3. I mean, he wants to go f5 at some point. So I need to meet this with knight d2 and f4, I think, here. If takes, I can just play knight f4. Let's play a4, no b5s here. Maybe I'll take on e5, maybe, at some point. Goes f5. Um, so many captures here. I guess I'll just take and play knight f4 here. If he takes, I can just take and play knight h5. Play knight h5 here, maybe. I think I'll play knight h5. I don't want to let this bishop get activated by trading, where you can then push and bishop becomes active. Let's just take. Um, I guess we'll go to f2. Let's go, like, uh, I guess we'll play knight f1, knight e3, or knight g3 here. Let's go knight g3, knight h5, maybe. Okay. He still has bad bishops, but it's hard for me to take advantage of them. So I think I'm gonna try to trade some queens here. Maybe queen a1. Try to trade, put pressure on the pawn at f5 here. Uh, I can't take, hmm. Let's go king h1. If takes, I just take. I thought I could. 297, yeah, I think I can do this. He can't take the knight, obviously, there's a pin. Oh, but he's got bishop f6. Okay, I'll still play knight e3, I guess. Protect the pawn. I could have played g3 too, but it should be okay. Let's go f5. h5, h3, of course. Uh, thank you to Fermi Bubble for the for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Let's go knight d1. I'm gonna go knight g2 and put the other knight on e3. I think. Hit the pawn on h4. Oh, but I gave him king g5. That was really stupid. Okay, let's re let's let's just maneuver around. If you, okay, king e3. Maybe knight c3 now. Threatening knight takes e4. I think I'll play knight b5 and knight f4. And now knight e6 should just be winning, I would assume. Just play f e6. He just resigns. Thank you to Mad Queen Dog for gifting a sub to Rock and Eagle. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Frank Rutten for the 14 months. Thank you so much.
Is Titled Arena coming today? What is Titled Arena? What is Titled Arena? I don't know what you mean by Titled Arena. Tilted Arena? Titled Tuesday? Arena Kings? Play E3. Okay, I'm playing Queen Odds here. Arena Kings is over though. Arena Kings is done. So I'm down a queen here. Oh, titled arena is on Lee Chess. Okay, okay. Play knight d4. Play knight c3, knight b3, I guess. Who is the tallest player I've ever played against? Maybe like, uh, probably Peter Heine Nielsen would be my guess. Uh, thank you to Smoochie Gaming for the three month resub. Always enjoy your streams, man. Thank you so much. Thank you to Teddy and for the sub with Twitch Prime as well. Much appreciated. So we're, we're trying to get 2,000 subs, you guys. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, 2,000, we will do a speed run from 0 to 3,000. Uh, try to do it in as little time as possible. Let's go King B1. Guess I'll play G4 and H4 maybe. Uh, let's go knight d5, hit the bishop, and bishop f2 next move. Um, guess I'll just play bishop g2. Thank you, control play for the seven month resub. Thank you so much. Quince 47 says I can do the speed run easily. Just give me 15 years. Yeah, I mean, you maybe could do it in 15 years, maybe. <sighs> Is the speed run blitz? Yes. Play F4. If takes, I just take and go Bishop D2, I guess. Okay, Knight D4, Knight F5 is coming. Do I party with Eric and Amon? No, I do not. Go knight f5. Go h4, g5. Try to put pressure on the bishop and the whole king side here. When am I going to eat the apple that's in my hand? Uh, you guys will just have to wait and see. Why are you wearing the Rough Rider sweater? Are you a prairie lad? Good one, good one. Uh, that's a free piece on a7. I'm gonna gobble it. That's a free piece. What is this guy doing? He just hung two pieces in two moves. Um, definitely knight f5 and bishop d4 coming next moves. Go knight f5. Who are you? Who are you and what did you do to Hikaru's beard? Take. That's another piece that I can take. Rook H8 is coming here. Really, really good, good win. What is the best about Florida? Probably the weather. The, the winter weather in Florida is just unbeatable. Really un unbeatable.
Okay, so we're playing Jay not ours. Taxes are also very good in Florida. Of course, taxes are great. Um, what about snakes? Yeah, San Diego is good, but San Diego is expensive, bro. Like, San Diego is crazy expensive. I mean, San Diego is just, man, you take, once again, like with other places, in San Diego, you just pay out of the you-know-what. Um, okay, let's go E5, maybe Knight E4, Bishop F4. Plays Knight G8, not best. Okay, that's a free pawn. I will definitely grab it. What about snakes? Snakes, snakes, snakes. Um, I don't know. There aren't. I mean, I've seen snakes, but like, who cares? They're not like they're not pythons or anything dangerous. So who cares? Um, I'm gonna take and play G4 here. Alligators, yeah, actually, no, I, I had to go to Houston recently, and I, I had some uh, fried alligator meat, and it, man, that was some delicious stuff. I love that. That was, mm, man, that was really, really good. Really, really good. Let's play queen d2. If I have five, I just take and play knight g3, knight h5. Let's play e3 again, support the pawn on c4. Knight g3, knight h5 coming. Ooh, now that's a terrible move. Now he just gives me access to both squares. Savain Farts is my biggest wish this year is a match against you. I am a huge fan. Very welcome. I look so young. Thank you, Gasuits. Much appreciated. I'm going to play Knight H4 and Knight F5. I think I will do that. Thank you for the 100 bits. Tystestes. Tystesticle. Thank you so much. Let's go Knight F5 and takes. Beer is expensive in most places compared to Germany. That's true. Egyptian food, not familiar with it. Thank you so much for the nine month resub, Kaiser Soze. Really, really appreciate it. It was Queen G5, so let's play Bishop B4 and hit the Knight on C6 here. Yeah, I mean, chess is just not the big eSport yet. That's just the reality. Um, do I follow fantasy football? You mean like actual football, like American football, or you mean European style football? What just happened? Okay, let's play D3 again. You mean the soccer one? Because Magnus is currently number one in the world out of three million people. For the millionth time, you guys, Magnus is obviously a fan of fantasy football, but as he himself said, a lot of it is luck. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, I, I, all you guys trying to make it some kind of... Make this into some kind of huge deal, like he's some kind of genius. Come on, even Magnus said it was luck. Like, get over it. Jeez. Play e5. Queen e1. I think Wesley lost his match today to Jan Napomniachi, so that makes sense that Wesley is maybe ch chatting. I mean, it's cool and all, but like people writing articles, like somehow like being good at chess is the reason. Like, come on. He loves football. He follows it. He got lucky. It can happen to anybody. It's no big deal. And it shows, like, you know, again, for the millionth time, I'm going to say this already today, it shows how gullible the media is that, like, that, um, that the media is, like, all over this, like, it's some kind of huge thing. Like, Magnus said, it's, Ma Magnus said, Magnus himself said he's lucky. And that's nice and fine. Don't get me wrong. Of course, it's nice to be leading this, this FPL league. But it's luck. Good for Magnus. But why, did, why is the media covering it like it's some special thing? That's what I don't understand. That's what, that's what's bizarre to me. Thank you for the 200 bits, newbie. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what that is. I just say. Let's just get the king out of danger here. 
M. Good says, does the media actually cover this? Yes, they're actually, they, they actually, like, the Guardian actually, like, wrote up a, a serious article on the fact that Magnus is leading the this fantasy soccer uh, league. Which, is again, like, I mean, does the media not, does the Guardian not have anything better to write on? Like, you know, what are the reasons for Brexit happening? Like, come on. There are more important things that you guys should be focusing on. But that's the media these days, unfortunately. Let's play Queen F3. Okay, I need to get my king out of danger. I don't really want to take, so I'm just going to go king d1 here. <laughs> I just mean it's the Guardian, really. They should be focusing on that little thing called Brexit. Just, you know, just throwing it out there. There's that little thing called Brexit, which they were completely wrong about, that's occurring. It's way too late to talk about why Brexit is happening. Okay, fair enough. But I think you guys get the point. Play rookie one, bishop f1 next move. The Guardian has just realized nobody likes Jeremy Corbyn. Probably. Okay, I can, no, I can't take. So if I take, he's got a really nice rook c1, king c1, queen c7 check tactic. Then he wins the queen because it's no longer on e7. So let's go knight d2 here. Can I explain Frexit 2024? Um... No, I mean, I, it's, it's all a big mess. I, I don't want to get into politics, but it's all a big mess, is my personal opinion. All a big mess. Yeah, like, I mean, BBC Magnus is using his mental fortitude to, to in another to succeed, or using his fortitude in chess to succeed in another game. I mean, what is wrong with these people? Magnus himself said it. Magnus himself said it's luck. Like, what is wrong with these people? It's unbelievable. It really is. It's just really, to me, it's insane that Magnus is like, ah, you know, it's nice, but I'm lucky. And then everyone else is like, oh, no, it's not luck. It's because of chess. Like, what is wrong with the media these days? Let's take the pawn on b5. Just play d4. I don't know what bishop a3 is. Thank you to Mr. Daniel Wrench for the 15 months. He says, for Brexit. Does that mean Daniel Wrench is in favor of Brexit? That's very disappointing, Mr. Daniel Wrench. Very, very disappointing. No good. No, no, no es tan bueno. Mi amigo. Okay, we're playing this position. I will just take the rook to start with. Um, I can... I guess I should take here first. I've got knight d6. I've got rook a7, queen d3. This, by the way, this position is known as the... Um, this position is known as the Salvador Dali position because of where all the pieces are here. Yes, it's Daniel Wrench, also known as Danny Wrench from chess.com. Thank you to Kaiser Sozi for 318 for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to the one and only, well, the one and only Kaiser Sozi. Plays B5. Um, I guess let's just take. He's got to take with this knight. He can't take with this knight. So let's check, take. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Problem is, this bishop on h1 is really bad. So even though I've got three pieces, this bishop on h1 is stuck behind these pawns. So I've got a big issue here because the bishop can never become activated. Um, let's make a check and go knight c7. Let's go for all kinds of mating ideas here. Like maybe just bishop e3, check and queen f6. Did I sneeze on the ball? No, I didn't sneeze on it. Yeah, and I feel like I should have some way to mate him. So let's go knight c7. Oh, uh, that's a bad move. That's checkmate.
Duda, the psycho. Yes, Duda, the one and only. Will I play top games? I don't know. Let's see how long the subs want to keep going for. Um, I might play some Blitz after that. Uh, let's put D4 here. How long have I had this ring? It is from the 2009 US Chess Championship. So more than 10 years now, more than 10 years, 10 and a half years to be precise. This probably isn't gonna work out well, but I'm trying to hang on to this pawn and run my king back if I can. Let's go F3, king F2 here. Really nice pawn here, stops this knight from going to either square. And I should already be close to equal at this point. Well, not equal, but just slightly worse. Play knight c3. That's a free piece. Uh, which index will do the best in the next 10 years? Tough question. I would say if Trump is president again in 20... If Trump wins re-election, probably I would go with the Russell is my guess. Thank you, Mad Queen Dog, for the uh, gifted sub to CEO of Littering. Thank you so much. But if Trump wins again, I think it's it's likely that the answer is the Russell. Um, if Trump does not win again, I would say just traditional S&P should, should be the strongest, uh, should be the best performing in this, in, in, index uh, for the next 10 years. Third three seven. Do I prefer gold or silver jewelry? Well, I don't really buy jewelry, so I don't have a preference. I mean, maybe you should ask a woman for a better opinion on that. Did I see Tesla up 6.5%? Of course, I saw Tesla. I am still long Tesla through some call options. So it was a very nice nice day for Tesla. There's got to be a mate here, knight f6. Play knight e8. I've got queen h8 with mate, so rook covers e7. According to what I know, Chess Bay loves jewelry. She's like, she loves collecting jewelry more than anything else in this world. So, uh, yeah, Chess Bay is a better, Chess Bay is a better uh, person to ask about jewelry. I'm showing sexism. I'm not. I don't buy jewelry. What do you want me to say? I don't buy jewelry. With 45 million, I can afford jewelry. I'm not worth 45 million. And do I look like my name is Drake or something? Like seriously, I wear rings. This is a ring that I got for free. I didn't buy it, so chill out. Make a check, queen c4. It's unbelievable. Knight takes d2. So play e takes d3. d4 now i'm hitting the bishop on c5 oh uh, let's just trade take the piece let's take the pawn go 92 94 next move Uh, thank you, Make you for the positivity. Um, thank you so much. Glad you glad you enjoy the streams. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Naka, smile. Hey. I want to smile, but I'm getting annoyed by some of these comments. I'm not gonna lie.
The 45 million comments are starting to annoy me, obviously, because I'm not worth 45 million. And the, you know, people saying that, uh, you know, what is this, I'm being sexist? Like, is this the world we live in today? You can't say anything. Play rook d1, hit, pin the knight on d3. Play rook d3 and king d3. Okay, I think we've got one more game. I'm gonna play d4 here. So I've got eight knights or seven knights. He's got queen, rook, two bishops, queen, two rooks, and two bishops. Okay, let's play knight b3. Nope, there's no snow in Florida, that's for sure. Let's just play knight g3. <laughs> let's play knight f3. Play e4. Play, just play c3. Keep the structure intact here. 92, 93 coming. Next game is the last game. Okay, well, that's it's about time, you guys. We're gonna play one more, and then I'm probably gonna jet off unless unless I really feel like playing Ali Reza. But I'm I'm not. I'm kind of not in the mood to play serious chess right now after all these sub games. So probably after after the next game, I will bounce on out, but um, uh, let's just go knight d2 again. Activate the knights, try to put a knight on f3 as well. Um, I guess I'll play a4, stop black from going a4 here. Let's just take and go knight e eh, 93 I guess. Okay, I can play knight c4 maybe, put pressure on the pawn on a5, pressure on the bishop, other knights coming to e4 here, pressure on the pawn on e5 as well. So I kind of like my position, it's pretty decent here. You look like you lost some weight though, I don't know, I mean again, is that a compliment or, I, I don't know. I've been, I've been going out and doing my five miles every morning recently, so maybe I have lost a little weight, I don't know. Um, okay, let's just play, put this knight on e4. Good knights here, very solidified, centralized. Knight e3, next move. He lost some weight off his face. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you're right. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I didn't think about that, but you're right. That um, uh, five miles is not hard. I, I do some mix of running and walking. I, I was feeling some pain in my lower back this morning, so I actually, like, I only ran two miles and I walked three because five would have been too much, but... Okay, now my knights are golden here. Look at these knights. They are really, really nicely placed. Um, Black's king side is kind of open. No g4 because I'm covering the g4 square. I couldn't run five miles if a crocodile was chasing me. That's a little bit depressing, my friend. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I'm going to play g4 here. Again, knight covers f4. I can now put something on f5. Nice outpost. Um, yeah, let's put the knight on f5 here. It's got what, queen d7, knight c5 or something. Um, or I, I guess I'll put the knight on c5 here. Everything, I mean, this is so weird, like. Uh, okay, everything is covered here. So now let's see, how do I do this? Guess I'll just play b3, why not? My knights are really, really good. They've got some great outposts here. Actually, I can also take this pawn too, so I will take it. Knights are really, really good here. Okay, I take. I take some knight e3 maybe. Or actually, I can still just play knight, F, knight f3 and knight e3 is a threat, knight h4 is a threat. Knight g3, that just collects the queen on h5. And he just resigned. So again, the four knights just dominate the rook and the bishop. And even before with the queen, the knights were really, really nicely placed. 